Hey guys, what is going on? Captain Cray here, and today I'm bringing you a bit of an unusual video. So, it's been a while since I've made any videos on this channel, but I thought I would show you guys something very cool that I've come up with. That's right, I have gotten into mod making for Minecraft. Now, I know what you're thinking, I used to play Minecraft survival games and I was more of a PvPer, but over the years, I've learned to appreciate a lot of the other aspects of Minecraft. In my free time, I've been doing some sound design and music production, and along with my buddy Noah and Caleb, they have helped me create a really cool mod. So, I just want to say a big shout out to them, um, Kryto627 and Kalimi. I could not have done this mod without them especially Kalimi. He helped me do all of this stuff. So I did the mod for about two weeks by myself, showed it to him, and he loved it, and me and him have been working on it ever since. It's taken about three months to do, and um, I'm ready to show you guys how our hard work has paid off. So let me show you guys uh, some of the features for the mod. So, a couple things to note, uh, if you download and install the mod from CurseForge, when you boot it up in your game, you should have three tabs up here. You'll have my main tab with all of Craze Magic Candles uh, modded items in it. You'll have the Candles tab, which has all of these candles, which we will get into in a bit. And it has weapons, which has wands and weapons and armor and stuff like that. So, really, really, really cool stuff. So, I want to show you guys what you need to do to get started with this mod. So, let's grab ourselves a hoe, some sort of gardening tool, all right? And right here, we've got the soybean seed. So, everybody knows candles usually are made out of soy wax. They can be made from other things, and this mod takes advantage of that. So, um, we need ourselves some soybean seeds. Now, you might be asking, how do we get these soybean seeds? I've got JEI installed, and when you look at it, there's no recipe or anything like that. So, how do we get these? Well, I have mobs off right now because I am on peaceful mode. But, if you find a witch, and I'm going to grab myself a diamond sword here. Let me go out of peaceful mode and go into easy. I was trying to prevent these slimes from spawning in. But, let's spawn in a witch, and if we kill this witch, there's a chance that the witch will drop soybean seeds. So you can pick these up, and now we've got some soybean seeds, which is really, really cool. So, I'm going to go back into peaceful for now. We'll go back into normal here in a bit for some other things. But, as you can see, I've got these soybean seeds. So now let's get ourselves a water bucket, if I can find one. And if we plant this down, doo -doo -doo -doo, let's see here, water bucket, and we can hoe this and plant our soybean seeds. And we wait a long time for these to grow. Now I'm going to speed this up a little bit. So grab me some bone meal here. And if I right click this, as you can see, it grows into a soybean crop. Now. What is this soybean crop used for? Well, when you break it in survival, you're going to get some soybean seeds and you get what is a soybean. So a plant, which is really cool. So we've got the soybean plant, all right? Now, not much we can do with this as of right now. We can't turn it into any candles yet, but our next goal is some wax. So how do we get wax? Well, we're going to need to grab ourselves a press. So how do you create a press? Well, there is one way you can create a press. It's a very simple recipe. And I tried to make most of these where you can get started with vanilla items. You just need the soybeans. So it is some iron ingots surrounding a piece of glass and a lever. And as you can see, it looks sort of like a press here. You've got your handle on the side, your glass window, and a lever on the top. So really easy stuff. Now... Let's uh, let's use this, shall we? So if I take this iron press and combine it with the soybean, let's see what we get. Oh, we don't get anything. I wonder why. Well, it's actually because you're going to need a lot of soybeans. That's right. You've got to surround this thing with soybeans. Now, it's all worth it. Trust me. You get an iron press full. Now, is there much we can do with this? Well, yeah. 
you can actually just press it down. And when we compress this in the crafting bench, we get 16 raw chunks of soy wax, and it gives you your iron press back. So new recipes have been unlocked. Check your recipe book. Well, what can we do with this raw wax? Well, let's see what JEI says we can do with it. Ah, we can smelt it up and get some chunks of soy wax. So why don't we do that? Let's throw it in our furnace. Wait a little bit of time here. Furnaces take a little while to cook, but you may have some sort of other mod installed that'll speed this up. And now we get a chunk of soy wax, and our recipes have unlocked even further. So we'll let that cook for a little bit. But what can we use this for? Well, there's a lot of recipes you can use this with. So there's a couple things to note. Um, one is you can create small chunks of wax. Or two, you may have to save it for a later recipe. Now, a lot of this stuff right here is very difficult to get because we're going to need stuff from later on in the mod. So, let's convert this into some small chunks of wax. So you just put it in the crafting bench, click on it, and more recipes have been unlocked. So let's look at the uses for it. Ah, there's a lot of uses. So, a couple things about this mod. You can actually take any vanilla block that is subject to gravity, so let's say sand, for instance. And if you put it in a crafting bench and you surround it with sand and then put that in there, you get wax sand. And what's cool about this is if I stack it up, oh, the sand floats. So it's not subject to gravity anymore because it's holding together, right? So really, really, really cool stuff. Now there's a couple things that we can create with this. It looks like we can create a weapon, and we can create a soy candle. So which one should we do first? Mm, let's create the soy candle. So we need ourselves a wick. Now how do we create a wick? Well, here's a candle wick. And if we look and see how we create that, oh, I clicked the wrong button. There we go. Here's how we create it. So it takes an iron nugget, a small chunk of soy wax, and a stick. And that gives you two uh, candle wicks. That way it doesn't use up all of your small wax chunks. But you have to wax this thing together, right, so that it stays on the candle. So we've got our wick, we've got our small chunks of soy wax, and if we look at the uses, we can make some candles with them. And we can start off making the first intro level candle, which is just a basic soy candle. So let's do that. So we've got enough left over from the stuff that we've made so far. And let's take this, and we get a soy candle. Awesome. So. This does not look like much, and does it do much? Well, not necessarily, but it can lead to some really cool things. So let's grab ourselves a flint and steel, the usual thing to cause some chaos and light things on fire. And if we right click it, we get an awesome, awesome looking candle. I mean, doesn't that look neat? Very, very cool. So you're probably asking, is that it? Is that all we can use this mod for is just some candles? Well. It's Cray's Magic Candles, and that's because you're about to be able to create some really cool stuff. So, there was the Katana, which, by the way, my friend um, Wilfred the Pig designed this model. I think it's really cool. So, this is the one thing I will give him some credit for. Well, actually, two. He came up with the uh, design for the scalpel, but we'll talk about that later. So, what else do we have to look at? Uh, let's take a look at the wick. So... The wick can be used in a couple candle recipes, right? Three to be precise. The earwax candle and the bee wax candle. Now the bee wax candle, as you can imagine, uses chunks of bee wax. Now how do you get chunks of bee wax? It's actually pretty simple. You just heat up honeycombs and it gives you the wax from the honeycombs, from the beehives. So this is a vanilla item that I didn't think had a lot of use as of right now. So I wanted to make it a pretty crucial part of the mod and give it a reason for you to farm bees and kind of get in touch with nature. So we can create chunks of bee wax. Now, we don't have any wicks left, so let me grab a wick, and I'll grab two chunks of beeswax, and if we put that into a crafting table, lo and behold, we get a bee wax candle, which is actually this cool, transparent-looking candle. Looks kind of like honey, right? So, I probably shouldn't have thrown away the flint and steel, but let me grab that back out. And if we take the flint and steel, we can light that one as well. 
It's a nice and neat little smaller candle, right? Oh, rain again. So, um, we've got our small bee wax candle, and you're probably thinking, what is the use of this? Well, I'm kind of going along a flow chart here, and we'll get to those later. But the next thing we need is some of this, and this is called a lesser soul essence. So now we're getting into souls. So I want to talk about this. If you hover over this item, it says, Blade of the Cursed Knight increases the drop chance of this item. So this item is a little hard to come by without that blade. But I want to show you something. The Blade of the Cursed Knight, which is a really cool weapon, if we hit R on it, it's a little difficult to craft. We need a Rune of the Cursed Knight, and we need a Sharpened Blade of the Cursed Knight, and a hill to the Cursed Knight. Now, we'll come back to the rune, because as you can see, there's some sort of thing taking place with this. So, in order to get the materials required to craft this, which is going to give you more of these essences, you just need to kill a bunch of mobs. So, go around, swing this sword, kill zombies and everything, and they'll start dropping these. It's a small chance, but we need it in order to craft the blade, right? So... Go around, kill mobs, and you can get yourself a load of these. Now, what are we going to use these for? Well, there's a lot of uses for these as well. There's a whole tier system in this mod. So, I think now is the best time for me to start mentioning some of the rituals that can happen. So there's some rituals that can happen with these essences, and it's used to create further and further down the line. Now, we've crafted all this, but I do want to briefly mention the other type of candle that I think is really cool that I added in, and that is the earwax candle. So in order to get that, we need to grab ourselves a scalpel, which is actually pretty easy to make. You just make a sharpened scalpel blade, a scalpel hilt, and a scalpel hilt. Now, the, sh the sharpened scalpel blade, you're actually going to need to use a stone cutter for this, and you can craft a dull scalpel blade just by using some iron and a stick, right? Now, how do we craft the scalpel hilt? So you'll need two of these, and it creates two hilts that could kind of interlock together to give yourself a scalpel. Now, the scalpel can be used to slice a few things. And as you've noticed in this tab, there are two items you can get from a scalpel. If you hit a zombie with a scalpel, it drops zombie ears. And if you hit a bat with a scalpel, it will drop flying bat eyeballs. So two really cool items, and we're starting to get into the magic here. So it drops these two items, and you may be thinking, oh, I don't know what the use of these items are. Well, there is this, the ear. The zombie ear can be cleaned out with a cotton swab to produce a clump of earwax. So how do you craft a cotton swab? Very simple two wool, and a stick, and it gives you two cotton swabs. Now, once you get this clump of earwax, you can then create an earwax candle. So you need four clumps of earwax, so you're going to need quite a few of these zombie ears. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab some earwax, and I need another wick, right? Now let's put this into the recipe in the crafting bench. And look what we get. We get a cool looking earwax candle, which looks really gross and slimy, but it looks cool, right? So we now have three of these simple candles in this mod. And I do want to note that with this regular soy candle that I'll take right here, you can actually color these. So I don't know if you noticed, but when I looked in this tab, there's all these different variants. So I want to mention how this works. Basically what you need to do, is you need to get a dye of your choice and just craft a basic uh, soy candle. And then when you put those shapeless in a crafting bench, you will get the dye variant of a regular soy candle. So if I grab these and I place a couple of them down, you can light them. And it gives you these cool dyed candles that will be interchangeable with this soy candle. So you can use these for the same recipes that you can use this soy candle for. So pretty neat stuff. Now, we've gone through everything up to right here, and that is where rituals start. So you remember this guy right here? 
Why did you need these? Well, there's actually some uses for this. You can actually uh, create these altar tiles, but you can create these essences that are located right here by combining nine of these in a grid. So, how do we create one of these greater soul essences? You take nine of these and put them in a grid, and it gives you this depleted greater soul essence. So, let's do that. We put all these in the grid, and here's a depleted soul essence. Now, can we use this for anything? Oh, we can use it to craft a ritual note. So this is your first ritual. So if you combine this with a piece of paper, you get this ritual note. And I'm gonna grab it out of my inventory so I don't have to go get the items. But basically, you get a note that looks something like this. And you should recognize, in the middle, we have this candle here and surrounded by this candle here. Now notice, all of these are lit. And let me walk over here to the first ritual. So we'll come back to this in a second, because I do want to mention this, but here is our first ritual. So it's just four of these candles, the regular soy, surrounding the beeswax candle. And if I take this, the greater soul essence depleted, and I look at this, it looks like I need to slot in the soul essence to the middle candle right there. So let's try that. So if I take this and right click on this, I get a greater soul essence and it extinguishes all of the candles. So in order to perform this ritual again, I need to go and I need to light all of these candles again. And then I can perform the ritual again. Now we have unlocked a world of possibilities. And if you hit shift on this, it tells you how you craft this. So notice it says made in the essence ritual, which this is the essence ritual that's on the note. and use item in center greater soul essence depleted and that's what we used in the center we right clicked this item in the center of this essence ritual and it gave us this greater soul essence now this thing can be used in a lot of different recipes that we're going to have to get into so what do we do with this now we've got our greater soul essence well we can start moving on down the tree so the next thing you want to grab is you are going to want to get an altar tile a stone altar. Now, how do we craft this? It's pretty simple. You just need some stone, stone pressure plates, and you need some lesser soul essences. Now, these, remember at this point, you still cr can't craft the blades, so you're going to need to spend some time farming these on just regular mobs. But in time, you will get enough to be able to craft some stone altar tiles. And what is the use of this? Well, if you notice in the next uh, altar recipe, we're gonna need them. You can see them depicted here. But not only are they depicted there, there's this thing in the middle, and it's a statue of myself. It's an ancient statue. Now, how do we make this statue here? Well, there's a lot of pieces, and you probably saw this recipe earlier. There's a soy candle and a stone statue carved. How do we make this? We put that into a stone cutter. How do we make this? There's a lot going on here. So I'm going to craft this for you just so you can see how this works. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need a stone statue head, which is fairly easy to craft, and you can do it now that you have the greater soul essence. Then there's the stone statue body, which you could also do because you have this, and you use these vanilla blocks to craft it, as well as the stone statue base, which you can use the greater soul essence you created. So this takes three greater soul essences, but you only need to craft one in order to make the statue. So let's craft one. So I'm gonna grab this out of here. And I also have this other recipe in my inventory, and this is the stone altar recipe. So we'll just grab one of those out of the inventory, but as you can see, this is the recipe. And this mod fully supports JEI, so you can look at all the recipes in it. Now, if we combine these, we get a stone statue uncarved. Now what do we do with that? Well, you can take that and you can carve it in a stone cutter. And that gives you a stone statue carved. And now, if we take that, plus our soy candle we made earlier, we get a statue of the ancient candle. So in the lore, this is supposed to be the first candle that was ever created. 
but this thing also emits light and it has this nice flame particle so it looks really cool and ominous because it's like a frozen version of myself so let's take a look at what this ritual can be used for so if we click on this it gives us a copy of this and i'm gonna go ahead and clear some stuff out of my inventory now what is that item in the middle you might be asking you know how this works the grid represents the blocks on the ground and you know how to craft all these other items except you don't know what that item below me is well that's one of these a rune catalyst so we are getting into some rune carving so how do you make a rune catalyst? Well, it's very simple. You've got iron ingots on both sides of some glass with an iron nugget up top. So really cheap to make these rune catalysts. But don't worry, these recipes are going to get much, much harder. So we've got the rune catalyst. Now what do we do with that? Well, what we can do is we can take our rune catalyst and perform a ritual with it. So there's a reason why this is called a rune ritual. And note, you can craft this by putting a piece of paper with it, and that gives you the rune ritual note. So there is a good reason to craft these, and they look cool on your wall. But anyways, we need to craft some runes. And as you probably noticed, there's a lot of different runes in my mod. So what rune would we like to create? Hmm, how about, how about a cool energy rune? That looks cool, right? So if you hold shift on it, it tells you, use item in center, rune catalyst. So it's made in a rune ritual, and we need to use a rune catalyst in the center. Place in altars, one diamond, two greater soul essence, and one block of redstone. So I happen to have set up this same exact ritual over here. And we have our items here that we're going to need. So I'm going to grab these out. And what you can do is you can take these items and slot them into these altar tiles. So you can right click on them and you can put an item in these. So we're going to take that, we're going to take our greater essence, and we're going to take a diamond and put it in there. Now we've got those. Now how do we make this rune of great energy? You right click it with the rune catalyst. So we right click the statue of me after all candles have been lit and it creates this a rune of great energy which is really really cool so and remember holding shift tells you how to do this and notice all of our candles were extinguished now before we move on to some of the more advanced rituals i do want to note something let me go back over here these candles all support a redstone signal into a dispenser underneath. And inside the dispenser, I have a flint and steel. And if we right click, it lights the candle. And if we right click again, it extinguishes the candle. And all candles can be extinguished by left clicking on them while in survival mode. I don't want to do it now because obviously it breaks the candle. So I don't want to have to do that. But you can left click and it will extinguish them when you're in survival. So right click, redstone signal turns it on, right click, and the dispenser extinguishes it. And it will use the durability of this flint steel. So let's take a look at some of the advanced rituals that you can use this rune for. So you might be asking, what can I use this rune for? And if you hit U on it, you don't really get anything. So now is when we start looking at these candles. So there's some cool custom candles in this mod. And they all do different things. So I find this very, very neat. Oh, great candle of energy. I wonder how we craft this. Hold shift on it. And it says made in the candle ritual. Use item in center, rune of great energy. Well, we have one of those. And we need a candle ritual. So how do we craft a candle ritual note? Well, here's a candle ritual note. And if we look at the recipe, you just need a simple soy candle, which you can craft, and a piece of paper. And that'll give you this candle ritual note. So if we look at that, very similar to some of our other um, recipes that we've used before. But now it looks like we put a rune and right click it into the center candle. So I'm going to do that right quick. We have our rune, and I've already set up the ritual for us. And notice all of the candles are lit. 
If I go back here and I hold shift on this, it says I need small chunks of cursed wax and small chunks of purged wax. So before I do this, how do I get these wax chunks? Well, this is where some of the other things come in. So let me back up a little bit. This is what you will need. You need a blade of the cursed knight. And um, how you can craft this, uh, I showed earlier. Um, but basically, all you need is the um, blade hilt. Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. My bad. You need the blade hilt, a rune of the cursed knight, which just requires flying bad eyeballs and greater soul essences, which you all know how to get with the scalpel and things like that and the sharpened blade of the cursed knight now once you do that and combine it you get a blade of the cursed knight and every time you kill a mob with a blade of the cursed knight you will get an essence from them so let me kill another one there we go he dropped the essence so they all should drop an essence so yep there we go so i killed two cows got two essences very nice Okay, so that's how you get essences guaranteed, and this thing does have a durability, um, but it's very, very easy to craft once you get rolling with this mod. So, it's very useful, and you can now get a lot of these to start moving on through the recipes and going through the tiers. So, uh, I'm going to put this back up here for now, um, and you can slot any item into these if you just want to use them for display purposes. Um, so, I want to come back to that in a little bit, but... Now that we have an idea of how to get those essences, how do we get these waxes here? So I'm going to show you. There is the chunk of cursed wax and the chunk of purged wax. So if we look at the chunk of cursed wax, it requires a press, which you already know how to craft, and it requires clumps of earwax and chunk of soy wax. We went over how to get these, but you can use that to press some cursed wax, and it's very easy. Now, how do we get the purged wax? Well, it's not any more difficult. You just need some of the various waxes and the cursed wax, which we just went over. And you need some beeswax and the greater soul essences, which you now know how to charge. And that's how you get these chunks of purged wax. And these are going to be used throughout the mod. So we've got all this in our ritual, and it's visible from the note. But as you can see, it looks exactly the same from overhead. And I have used some colored candles in this one instead of just the basic soy to give it a little bit of flair. So you can use any of the colored variants. And if we take our rune and right click it on this middle one, we will get something really cool. So I want to show you guys what this looks like. So I'm going to right click. And it gives us a really cool candle of energy, which when we light it, and we go into survival mode, it gives us speed in a radius around the candle. So anytime we're around the candle, when it's lit, it will give us speed, which is really, really cool. So if I go outside this radius, notice I'm not getting speed anymore, but if I run back in, I'm getting the speed again. So really, really, really cool stuff. So now we've got our candle of energy and see I can extinguish that in survival mode now let me break this and grab that back and I'm gonna go back into creative mode so we can keep looking at these recipes but now I've got this great candle of energy so what do I do with this it's really cool that I can you know have speed and stuff now and give it to my friends and all that well you can actually go on and start crafting a wand ritual note so how do we craft this well all you need is a wand hilt and a piece of paper to get the wand ritual note. And how do you craft a wand hilt? Very easy. Two sticks and an iron nugget. So I thought this would be cool because you can slot the wand in up here. But you use that to craft yourself a wand ritual note. So I'm going to get rid of some of these and take a look at the wand ritual note. Now, notice there's five uh, individual altar tiles surrounded by some soy candles. You are going to need something called blessed wax. So if we look at this, how do we get these? Well, the way you craft these blessed soul essences, which are used in this ritual here, is you are going to need to craft 
a depleted version of the blessed soul essence, which is done by crafting uh, a nine block or three by three grid of these greater soul essences to get one blessed depleted. Then to craft the wax, you need four of the blessed soul essence charged. And how do you charge these? The same recipe from earlier. So now, let's take a look at our wand that we want to make. So, we have got a candle of great energy that matches to the greater wand of energy. So if we hold shift on this, it says we need small chunks of blessed wax and a great candle of energy. And we right click the center with the great wand hilt. So I've already slotted in everything we're going to need. The only thing we have left to get is a wand hilt. So let's grab one of those. And we've got our pattern set up and ready to go. I used some nice looking colors to make this. And if we right click on this, it crafted us this great wand of energy. Now, what is the use of this? Well, if you right click it, it summons lightning. And it has a cooldown, but you can use this thing as much as you would like process to create these is long and hard so I reward you with a nice nice wand so you can right click this all over the place and it will summon lightning and it will even damage mobs so I can hit him and it will actually kill a cow so that's pretty cool um, and there are a lot of different wand variants so I want to go through and show all these but basically you can use all of the candles that you make in my mod with all of the wands. So basically the candles that are used to make them are located in here. So there's some really cool ones and I want to show you guys all these. So let me clear all this out. So we've got a couple of wands. We've got this, which is the Great Wand of the Magician. And if I use this, I can spawn a bunny rabbit. And when I'm in survival mode, I'll go invisible. So it's really, really cool. And it's basically like a vanishing wand. You can make yourself disappear. And it will spawn a bunny rabbit, which is really cool. It's almost like you swap with a rabbit, and then you can run away and trick your friends. So next, we've got the greater wand of fire. And if you right-click it, it shoots a fireball. So you can actually shoot gas-level fireballs out towards your enemies and it's got a short cooldown so you can spam these fireballs at your friends and they will travel infinitely for long distances until it gets out of your rendering see so if your friends way over there he'll see it coming all right next we have the greater wand of mining and if we right click with this it spawns a cluster of tnt at that location it blows it up which is really really neat large crater size so we'll come back to this one here in a bit because this one's very very special you've already seen the lightning one you've already seen this so we need to look at one more and that's the greater wand of levitation so i've spawned in my uh co-host and what i need to do now is just right click him so if i right click him it's going to launch a shulker shell at him and it's going to go and hit him and now he starts levitating so you basically have the power of the shulker in your hand with this wand so really 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 cool stuff and he falls back down and it kills him we've got a couple more things we have the helm of the blessed knight which can be created by small chunks of blessed wax and a rune of the cursed knight which you know how to craft now and if you wear it it gives you night vision and it makes you glow to your friends so really 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 cool if i'm running around I'm glowing to all my friends in the world, and it gives a cool outline to me. And I get night vision pretty much infinitely. So that's really cool stuff. And when you take it off, that effect, of course, goes away. Now, you may have noticed something that was really neat here. I have a soy candle mount that you can also craft in this mod. And you can slot in any of the colored candle variants and stuff. So really, really, really cool stuff for the soy candle. And this can easily be crafted just by using some chains and iron ingots. And the chains are pretty simple to craft from basic Minecraft. So these are really neat. And you can place them down or up against a block like that. And you can slot a candle in. So I made it to where it can do this because I don't know where you want to place these things. 
but it's really cool stuff. So, what else is it offering this mod? Well, we have all of these cool candles that can do different things. Fire, levitation, Zen healing. And these candles, what's really cool about them is once you craft them, and you can hover over them to see the recipe, once you craft them, they all give you effects. So not only do you get energy, you can get luck, you can gain invisibility in the radius. You've got Zen healing, which gives you healing. You get levitation from this one, fire resistance, water breathing. We'll come to this one in a second. And you get haste mining. So this candle here is used in an upcoming altar. But I do want to mention a couple of things first. So, you may have noticed this item way down here, Trapped Soul Lantern. So you might ask yourself what this is used for. And if I go back here, if you hover over the Blade of the Cursed Knight, it says, hold a soul lantern in offhand to capture souls. So I want to show you something that's really cool. What you can do is in 1.16, Minecraft added these soul lanterns. So if I grab one, and then I search up a pig, and, oh, I had a pig spawn egg the whole time. Uh, I'll grab this candle of invisibility, and I'll show you guys how this works. And I also want to point out, you can light candles with regular lanterns as well. So let me show you guys how I'm going to get this to work. We need this Blade of the Cursed Knight, and we're going to put this in our main hand. And our soul lantern goes in the off hand. So if I spawn a pig, and then... I kill him with the blade. His soul gets trapped into the soul lantern, which can then be used to light these candles with a cool looking colored flame. Now all mobs in the game will light candles with this type of flame. So from any of these lanterns, it'll light them with this type of flame. But what's cool about it is now that I have a pig's soul trapped in this lantern, and I've lit the candle with the lantern, you can make any pigs in the area go invisible. Because this is an invisibility candle. And in that radius around this candle, all pigs that come into it, if I spawn a bunch, they will become invisible. And if I break this candle... Once the potion effect wears off, there they all are. They're right there. And I can even place it back down, and I can relight it, and they'll start turning invisible, which is really, really cool to me. And see, he's outside the radius, and these are outside the radius, so really, really neat stuff. And you can even use this for hostile mobs as well, which is really neat. Any of these candles will work for it. So we have one ritual left. So there's a couple things to note. This ritual has a bunch of different colored flames. And if we look at the ritual note, which is the Wraith ritual note, it's a blessed soul essence and a piece of paper. And if we look at it, it shows all of the different colored flames with a cursed candle of the night in the middle. So I'll show you guys how to craft that in a second. But basically, we need to figure out how we can get these flames. So I'm going to grab some more soul lanterns. So I'll grab just one. And basically, if I die in any various way in Minecraft and go back there, there should be a wraith of however I died in that place. Now, I'm not going to show you how I die, but this can also be done using villagers. When he falls... He dies and he spawns a wraith of air. Now that's because the villager died to falling, right? So, the villager died to falling. And now this wraith is here. And if we take our blade, and we fight this wraith, and we kill him, not only does he drop the essence, but now we have a wraith of air's soul trapped in our lantern. And we can use that to light any of these candles. So if I run over here, and I'm going to go back into Peaceful right quick. If we light these, they give you that air flame that you saw surrounding that mob. And you can light all your candles this way. And what's really neat is if you take a regular soul lantern. So 
we take a regular soul lantern and we right click any of these it will take it and it will convert it into whatever you have this lit with now there's various ways to die in minecraft and i'm gonna let you guys figure them out but what you can do is this wraith ritual which is really cool so i don't know if you've recognized that item but that item is indeed a nether star so this ritual requires a lot of effort but if you use this nether star in this ritual and ooh, I just realized I need a flame in the center so if we grab ourselves a flint and steel and we light this this candle in survival gives us blindness spooky so we can't see and if we right click this in <laughs> It spawns a giant mob, but I'm in peaceful, so I'm going to let you guys see what that looks like. But once you kill him, he's a big boy, let me just warn you. Once you kill him, you can grab whatever he drops, and he drops these, Wings of the Damned. So if we take the Wings of the Damned, and I know this is a lot of information, but they've got a couple uses. You can surround them with the small chunks of blessed wax, and those will take the wings of the dam and purify them into divine wings. Now, what are divine wings used for? Well, if we hit you on them, they don't have a use in JEI, but the one one that I was saving for the end, this one in the middle that we've been waiting on this whole time, this. Okay, so now you want to know how to make this wand right here, or this staff, the blessed staff of light. Well, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a great wand hilt, small chunks of blessed wax, and then a blessed candle of the heavens in the center. Now, how do we make the blessed candle of the heavens? Well, if you go here, we need a rune of blessed flight, and then four of each wax. And how do we get the rune of blessed flight? If we go here, we need a rune catalyst in a rune ritual, with a diamond, blessed soul essence, and the divine wings that you just used. Or that you just crafted through the boss fight. So I'll let you guys figure out what the boss looks like. I'm saving the surprise. But once we craft this rune, we can craft this candle. And this candle does something really cool. So I'm going to place it down right here. And I'm going to light it. But what happens is, if I go into survival, it's granting me flight, creative flight that is, in a radius around this candle, which is really, really cool. And if I go far away, it'll just tick off and I slow fall. So it grants me slow falling. So it's really cool. So let's get rid of this candle. And we're gonna need this. So how do we do this ritual? Well. As you saw in the staff recipe, you need a great wand hilt, four chunks of blessed wax, and the blessed candle of the heavens. So we put the candle in the center, and then we put the small chunks of wax in the tiles, and we need to grab ourselves a wand hilt. And if I right click on this, it gives me a cool looking staff. And what does this staff do? Well, let me go back into survival. If I right click it, I can fly. And I can fly for about eight minutes before I'm gonna need to activate it again. So I can, you know, use this for building and stuff like that and fly all over. And if I double tap, I can drop and save myself because I can fly around. And then once this ticks off, it gives you slow falling so you don't just fall straight down. You kind of glide straight to the ground. So. This is all the mod entails so far, but there is going to be future updates and it will be really, really cool. So please let me know if you are enjoying this mod. You can download it over on the Curse Forge page. Big shout out again to Kalemi. He has put a lot of work in on this mod with me and it is awesome. I'm very happy with it. So if you like it, please let me know over on Curse Forge and download it, play around with it, and if you have questions, please comment and let me know. So I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye.